here. That is the 13th most in the history of NCAA hockey. This is the best crowd that the Compton family ice arena has seen all season for good reason. Number two, Michigan against number nine, Notre Dame. We are off and running. And Portillo only appeared in seven games last year, but had the goals allowed average at 1.6, save percentage of 93, and has really stepped it up at the full-time job this year. Here's a shot by Nick Blankenberg, and Michigan executes off the faceoff to draw the opening tally. Great play by... Naki Samuskevich into double figures and goals with 12 on the season as they slide it out to Lieberman at the blue line. His shot is tipped by Janicki towards net. The rebound is banged in by Graham Slagger to tie the game. He had a good shift there last time down the ice. New unit comes on here as they send it into the Michigan zone. Portillo comes out to play it. Fans on it. Landell gets to the puck and stops it in. Scott gets in on Portillo, he kicks out another one, back onto the stick of Lieberman, into the slot, on his backhand, sends it in front, kick save, rebound, Adams, they score! Centers a pass in front, deflects out, Samuskevich can't get the shot off, Max Ellis takes it away, and now he's all alone, working it on Portillo, Ellis shorthanded, trying to go five hole, and Portillo keeps him out. Power takes a look, now slides one towards the slot, it's intercepted by Stasny, he's out to the neutral zone. Stasny trying to skate his way free and he's taken down at center ice. Now they can award a goal here yeah. because it's an empty net. No. Infraction on a breakaway towards an empty net is an automatic goal. Oh, they are calling it. So Stasny gets the goal. I didn't think it was quite a breakaway, he was breaking around him. Clock winds down, and that's it. Notre Dame wins game one against Michigan and locks up the three seed in the Big Ten postseason tournament.